paper doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi Dolly! Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z and I do all types of girly pink fragrance, lifestyle, home decor videos on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, do be sure to click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. All of my social medias will be linked in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. Welcome back to another Fragrance Friday video and in today's video I am going to be doing a huge dossier unboxing slash haul for you guys we are going to unbox them i'm going to give you guys first impressions and my thoughts on each one this video is in collaboration with dossier they reached out and asked me if i would be interested in collaborating with them and if they could send me a six perfumes and i was like <laughs> say less please send me another one of those floral marshmallows while you're at it. <laughs> so I am so excited to be collaborating with them today on this video. I am super, super excited because I have never smelled any of these perfumes before. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier, Dossier is a perfume brand that reproduces the luxury high-end fragrances that you find in the stores for a fraction of the cost. Dossier's perfume is only $39. Compare that to the cost of these luxury brands that can range anywhere from $50 50 to 280 dollars you guys so this is a very good deal so it is definitely worth at least checking it out girl and if for any reason you don't like a fragrance you can exchange it or return it free of shipping charges it's a win-win situation and I did go ahead and read the reviews of dossiers perfumes and their brands and a lot of customers were saying that they love the brand because the comparison between luxury and their perfumes were almost very very much alike which I was like like, whoa wow so dolls do let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to go ahead and do a comparison video where I choose a perfume from dossier and I choose a luxury perfume that it's inspired by and we compare them to see if it really does smell luxury dossier is now in 1400 stores and you can find the nearest one to you using the store locator in the description box below and get this you guys they are now in your Walmart stores yes girl your Walmart stores for under $50 so if you guys have a Walmart near you go in and check it out and let me know what you guys think and of course dolls I have to hook you up with the deals so they do have 25% off on any bulk orders right now and if you order three or more bottles you do get free shipping they are always adding new scents to their collection and get this you guys they take suggestions from customers on what type of scents they want a fragrance to be inspired by so if you guys have any suggestions you can leave it there for them as well I will be sure to link dossiers website and all of the information to the products that I show you guys in this video today in the description box below okay dolls before we get into unboxing and reviewing these fragrances I wanted to share with you guys a little quick update on the fragrances that I already have from them because I believe Last year, I want to say around spring or summer, Dossier reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in trying some of their fragrances. I picked out two fragrances to try and I did review those for you guys. That video was not a collaboration video at all. They just reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some products to try and I decided that I wanted to share me trying them with you guys. So if you dolls have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box below so you can check out the full review on these fragrances. But I did want to just come back and give you guys a full update how am I feeling now did the scents change for me or anything like that so the two that I did pick up is the ambery vanilla and I also picked up the floral marshmallow my first time around and if you guys remember that review I was kind of like eh, I'm not really sure if I'll get much use out of these fragrances well you guys the bottles don't lie they tell you how I'm feeling here's the update right here you guys Floral Marshmallow ended up being one of my most worn fragrances of 2022. I will be doing a video about all of my most worn fragrances of 2022, but this one, girl, I know when 
when I first originally smelt it, I was like, I don't know. I kind of like it, but I don't know if I like it, but I kind of like it, but I don't. Girl, I like it. I love it. I got so many freaking comments on this one. The top notes are marshmallow, neroli, and bergamot. The middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, and orris. The base notes are amber, vanilla, and musk. You guys, this just smells so freaking good. Every single time, I kid you not, every single time I wore this fragrance, I got compliments from everyone that I saw that day. Like, girl, what are you wearing? You smell so good. Men were just like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like, I don't know what it is. It's not overpowering. I can't even put my finger on it. You just smell so sweet. You're just so sweet. It was this, girl. It smells so good. Definitely a burst of that sweet marshmallow scent. Also a little bit of orange. Yeah, there's definitely a citrusy note in there. The main note that I was kind of afraid of was like the jasmine and the orris and the honeysuckle. Um, the orange blossom actually is giving me very much of an orange citrusy note, which I don't know if I got the first original time I smelt it in the video that I first did, but after a while, you guys, this scent was just bomb on me. Like it just started to mix with my natural oil so, so well. And I just fell in love with this. This is definitely my top number one. So when Dossier reached out to me a second time and said, hey, would you be interested in collaborating with us? And I was almost out, girl. I was like, yes. And please put Floral Marshmallow on that list of fragrances you guys are sending me because I need to re-up. So yeah, I'm so happy that they reached out to me again to collaborate because honestly, if I could, I would probably get all six six boxes floral marshmallow, but I wanted to try out different fragrances for you guys and give you guys an idea and a review in case you're thinking about trying Dossier out or maybe you're thinking about trying a designer fragrance out, but you don't want to fork out $150, $280. You can just go with Dossier, pay a quick $39, and if you don't end up liking it, you can return it free. It's the perfect situation, you guys. So absolutely love this. You guys can see there's your update. I pretty much almost wore it all completely up um, I do have my back up here in the box so I won't go over that one but you guys can see like look at how much is gone this is gonna be in my empties of video for sure I have probably like one more use out of it I've been like spraying it very very lightly This is also a very good scent for a Valentine's Day. I think though I would probably continue to wear this all year round. This is quickly becoming one of my everyday scents. I just get so many compliments like I can't ignore the signs, babe. I can't ignore them. And then I also had picked up Ambery Vanilla. I remember reviewing this and I was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. One of the things that kind of held me back from this fragrance was the pink peppercorn in it. I kind of just really was like unsure about that pink peppercorn. I really don't like that note in fragrances. To me, it smells like, and I'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful, but it smells to me like old lady and I don't like those type of scents. That's just not my vibe. But I will say that this fragrance has grown on me since I've had it. I ha I would say it's very, very specified to a specific type of event. I would not wear this everywhere I went, but I do feel like I could wear this in certain situations and in certain events and moments in my life where it would work. I found myself picking this up more so in the fall time and specifically around Halloween. It was giving me very much witchy glam witchy vibes and i love it you can smell the luxury in it but it's also something very very witchy about it very very um elderly and mature is the correct word mature about it and i do know that as you grow your sense change your body change and your preferences change so i do want to continue to try more scents like these because maybe in the future this might grow on me i do feel like it has grown a little bit i love the ambery notes in it i love the vanilla notes in it um and by the way the top notes are mandarin pear pink pepper that that's the one that's not good licorice the middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom, and then the base notes are cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, and coffee. I didn't really get the coffee scent in this. It's funny because I saw other people's, read other people's reviews on this, and they were saying, oh, I get this coffee scent. I don't really get that. 
I do get this vanilla -y scent. I do get the cedarwood, the patchouli. I feel like I do get a little bit of citrus with the mandarin, a slight soft pear. I think that's where the sweet note is coming in it with the vanilla and the pear. I smell that pink peppercorn very, very strongly, and that is kind of a little bit scary for me. What I will say is I don't know that I got the licorice at the top of the notes, but then I will say as it set on my skin longer, I did start to smell this deep, sweet licorice on my skin. And orange blossom and jasmine definitely up there as well. You guys, it's a nice scent. It's just for me, I don't know how much wear I would personally get out of it. I wish they would put what the fragrance is inspired by on the bottle. This fragrance is inspired by YSL's Black Opium. I've never tried YSL's Black Opium. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing me try out the fragrances, the designer fragrances that these are inspired by, do let me know in the comments below because I think that would be a fun video. So if you guys like YSL's Black Opium, you probably will like this as well. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the haul and unboxing these. Look at all those fragrances. I got six. We're going to start with Floral Marshmallow, which I already kind of talked to you guys about already, but I did want to read for you guys what it's inspired by and show you guys just the packaging. So this is what they come like in the box. It says Dossier. It's really, really basic. The inside of it just says, Iconic Scents, Designer Qualities, No Markups. We love the sound of that. It also comes with a cute little detail card with all the fragrance notes on it and what it's inspired by. So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys so you can guys can get an idea of what your experience will be like if you were to order this fragrance. So, so it says the fragrance is inspired by Killian's Love, Don't Be Shy. And then it says how it works. Your Dossier order has arrived and now it's time for you to test out your new perfume. Do you love the smell? Question mark. How does it feel on your skin? These are the questions that fragrance brands should be asking their customers. If you're not in love, you are always able to return your bottle. Simply head to the returns page on dossier.co to create a return label and ship back to us. We've got you covered. <laughs> That's just so sweet. Like how, like, what, what company you know talks to their customers like this? This is just so kind. Here is what it looks like when it comes in the packaging. Very clean, sleek, minimalistic packaging. You guys know this is not my style of packaging. Y'all know I am extra. I love extravagancies. I love the bottles. I love that. But I do feel like this does have its own brand to it. And I feel like the brand is basic, simple. We deliver the fragrance at the fraction of the cost. And I feel like because they are delivering a luxury fragrance and all of their efforts are going into the fragrance and making it smell luxury, I do feel like for the price you're paying $39, you can't really complain about the bottle. And I do feel like the packaging is justified on that. If I'm going to be getting a fragrance that's otherwise $280 for $39. Girl, I do not care about what the bottle looks like. What I care about is that it smells good. I feel like that's also kind of their statement and also kind of their brand like get to the point. We just want a fragrance that smells good and smells luxury and skip all of that extra extra stuff. And so I do feel like it does match their brand. I do also feel like the packaging is cute if this is your style. If you're like a clean minimalistic Girl, you know, that is trending. That clean, minimalistic style is trending right now. And I feel like this would fit perfectly into a lot of girls' and guys' bathrooms. Again, not my style of packaging, but I do like it for the fact that they do have a brand and they are selling you a certain type of experience, which is clean, sleek, to the point, we're just investing all of our energy and money into the fragrance and we're not worried about too much about the packaging. The lid, you guys, is one of the things I love about these bottles is that the lid is magnetic. I, I, like that is something that is a designer element that would be on a designer bottle that you're finding on this bottle. Yes, the bottle does look pretty basic, but you're getting a designer experience with that lid, girl, like, that is just, that, that's just, ugh, it gets me. Also, when I hold the bottle, it is pretty heavy. It is giving me a nice quality weighted glass, and I do love that. I feel like if they just took the, for me personally, if they just took the label off altogether and just had it clear like this, I feel like this would even be uh, a better option for me. I think it's just for me, this paper label, I don't really care for that. But you guys, again, 
you're getting a $280 perfume for $39. Like who cares what the bottle looks like, girl? Take it and run. <laughs> Take it and run before they catch you. Okay, so that was Floral Marshmallow, you guys. I've already smelt that one for you guys. I've already reviewed that one. So you guys know this is my top. This is the one that I love. This is going into my bathroom right away because I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up going through this really, really fast. Ooh, you guys. The next one I picked up is Fruity Almonds. Here's the box. The fragrance notes in this one say the top notes are almond, peach, the middle notes are orris, orange blossom, tuberose, and the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and cocoa. Ooh, this is, I don't know, I love, is, is the lighting too bright here, you guys? Do I need to close this? Okay, dolls, I just closed the window a little bit because it was getting kind of bright in here and I wanna make sure you guys can see everything. I was really interested to try out this fragrance because it said fruity and almonds and I love fruity scents. Oh, I didn't do my little disclaimer. I am a gourmand girly, by the way, you guys. I am not into florals at all, but I do wanna get into more different types of fragrances and not just always do gourmand, which is why I thought it would be a great idea to try out a plethora of different types of scents in this haul. So when Dossier reached out to me, I was like, yes, I can finally try some new scents that I've never tried before, designer inspired, and really see if I can go past just being a gourmand girly. It says it's inspired by uh, Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Perfume. I've never tried that. Comment below if you guys have tried it. The concentration is 15%. You guys already know the mission and how everything works. So let's go ahead and get into smelling her. There she is. That's what she looks like. You guys see that basic babe type vibe? You know what I'm saying? It's giving me basic. I'm a minimalistic girl. All of my bed sheets are white and nude. I only wear black. It's giving definitely like minimalistic basic girl vibes. Ooh, this smells familiar. This is pretty. Yes. I, there is definitely a burst of fruit. I'm definitely getting a peachy, almondy note. I'm also getting a little bit of vanilla. Did they say vanilla? Yeah, vanilla's in here. Taco bean, mm, kind of. Cocoa. I'm not really getting cocoa in the air. I'm gonna spray it on my skin, you guys, just to see if it changes a little bit. I'm not getting cocoa in the air. I am definitely getting the almond, the peach, the taco bean, the vanilla. That orange blossom is definitely there. Tuberose. There is an element of a fresh rose scent, but it's not overbearing. It's definitely in the background. The orris, I do smell quite a bit. I feel like orris is kind of like a spicy floral, or in my opinion, it's like a spicy floral. I do get that in the background. I like this. This definitely smells luxury though. This is definitely like, you're not wearing this every day, babe. You're not, you're, you're going somewhere special with this. I do really like this. I'm kind of shook. I really do like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this one. I'm gonna give this one. Oh, by the way, I forgot to rate Floral Marshmallow. Floral Marshmallow for me is a 10 out of 10. After I've had it for a while, I don't know what I rated it before, but for me now, it's a 10 out of 10. I would rate Fruity Almond as like an eight out of 10. I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of this on special events, like if I had to go to like a premiere or like a screening or something like that. If I was trying to impress, I would definitely wear this. The potency on this, you guys, is so freaking high. It smells so potent. Wow, I love this one actually, you guys. And it's not even my style. Well, it is kinda cause it's fruity and almondy. I'm not surprised that I like this. This isn't like a super, super gourmand scent, you guys. So like, if you're looking for like something like cakes or candy or pastry, it's not anything like that. It's more of like a fruity sweet and not a pastry sweet, but it's really, really good. It's also giving me perfumey vibes. So it's not like, you know, it's not like you're pouring sugar on your body. You know, it's it's definitely more of like a perfume. This is definitely high end, high quality. I don't know, this is giving. This is giving. I like this one. This is definitely an eight out of 10 for me. The next one I have here, you guys, is Fruity Orange. You guys see, I'm going for the fruity scents because um, summer's coming. I live in California, by the way, and spring and summer's coming and I love to wear fruity scents in the summer. Okay, so this one says the top notes are grapefruit, bergamot, tangerine, melon. Ooh, that sounds nice. 
smells like a freaking fruit salad on a hot summer day. The middle notes are orange, lily, green apple, magnolia, and the base notes are jasmine, musk, and plum. So very, very fruity, I see. Ooh, this one has a different color liquid. It's clear. That's nice. Now, I like the clear liquid. If you're gonna go basic, go all the way basic. I do like that. Whoa. Whoa. I've never smelled anything like this before. Oh my God, I've never smelled anything like this before. Okay, you guys. Okay, so this fragrance, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> this fragrance is inspired by Clinique's Happy. Wow, I've actually never smelled or tried Clinique's perfumes. And if this is inspired by Clinique's Happy, I definitely need to smell a few more of Clinique's perfumes and try them out. This smells so luxe. Oh my God. This is definitely giving me spring though, but there is a fruity burst as soon as you spray it. And But there's also a much, much, much floral as well. And they're definitely 50-50. It's like 50% floral and 50% fruit. Neither is overpowering the other, I feel. That jasmine is really strong in this scent. So if you're someone who doesn't really like jasmine, you guys see I'm squinting because I'm starting to feel like I have to sneeze. When it comes to floral scents, you guys, if you're new here, it does kind of start my allergies up a little bit. Um, that jasmine is pretty strong in this. If you're not a huge fan of jasmine, I don't know if you're gonna like this, but it is a nice fresh scent. I do feel like I am warming up to it quite a bit. I definitely smell the grapefruit, the green apple, the mandarin, did they say mandarin? Oh, tangerine. The melon is there. I love the melon note in this, the green apple. The magnolia is there too. Orange lily, I did get orange lily and plum. Do I get plum? I'm not. I'm not getting plum in the air, but let me go ahead and spray it on my skin and see what I get on my skin. Maybe the plum will come out on my skin. And there's definitely a musky, ooh, that smells good. Okay, the plum is coming out on my skin. I am getting plum, I'm getting orange, the grapefruit's there, and definitely, I think it's just that melon. That melon is so pretty, you guys. I really do like this. I do like this. The only thing about this that I would say that would turn me off a little bit is just that that jasmine is kind of really strong. And you guys know I'm not a huge jasmine fan. So I would definitely consider this more of a fruity floral for me, in my opinion. And I would rate this, ooh, I like it though. It's really fresh. I feel like this would be great for the summertime. It's giving me fruit salad vibes. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> and it's funny because the name, Clinique's Happy. Okay, so I would probably rate that a seven out of 10. I think that was really, really close to the last one, which was, what was the last one? The Fruity Almond, it was really, really close. It, was, it just wasn't as sweet as the Fruity Almond. And you guys know I love sweet being a gourmand girly, but the fruit in this, babe, it's so good. So I would rate it a seven out of 10. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I am not rating these fragrances by packaging, like I'm not rating them like I normally would. I'm just rating them off of initial sniff. This is an unboxing review, so it's not gonna be a really super in-depth review. I will say that so far, all of these fragrances have been super, super potent. A little bit of this, I feel, will go a very long way, especially that fruity orange. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, guys, I just had to close that curtain a little bit more, babe, because it was in my, like, coming in the side of my eye. Like, it's so bright outside. Okay, so I'm ex so excited to try this one. I saw it, and I was like, bro, that sounds like it's going to smell so delicious. So this is Ambery a Cherry. Like, what? I don't have any fragrances, I don't think, that has cherry in it. So I was like, who doesn't want to smell like a giant cherry? And I love amber. So I was like, this is going to be perfect. Okay, the top notes on here are cherry, almond, and cinnamon. The middle notes are cloves, rose. Ugh, rose. You guys know, I hate rose. If you're new here, just know. Hi, my name is Suri. I hate rose in fragrances like I just don't like it I think it smells very much elderly and I I'm not here for it um, but we're gonna we're gonna try today and so we got cloves rose jasmine plum Peru balsam tonka bean and vanilla and this is inspired by Tom Ford's lost cherry okay let's see if you can lose my cherry this sounds like something that is gonna be really really cute for like Valentine's Day just like 
smelling like cherries like hello okay so here it is the packaging on that they do kind of change up the color of the letters on the labels to match the liquid i'm seeing that i'm noticing that this is like a light very light pale green color i don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of matches the um the name on there Oh my god, this smells like freaking cherries. Like pop my cherry cherries. I smell the cinnamon, I smell the cherry, and I smell the almond right off the freaking bat. That cherry is so freaking good. And this is just not any cherry, baby. This is a dark, luscious, big cherry girl. Oh yes. It doesn't smell like artificial cherry either. It smells like real cherry. I don't know how to explain it. You guys know how there's like an artificial cherry smell? This smells like cherries. Oh my God, I have to spray this on and see what I get. Let me ooh, put it up there. Oh my God, the combination of that cherry and the almond and the cinnamon together. Ooh, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, this smells really, really good. If you are a girl that's a huge fan of cherry, then I think you will love this. It definitely smells very strongly of cherry. I would say the other notes that I smell in there is kind of like a vanilla note. I'm just picking out the ones that smell very strongly to me. That vanilla and also a soft almondy note, but you get on the dry down, like this spicy cinnamon note. And I never would have thought to put cherry and cinnamon together. I'm trying to see if I get any floral at all. I don't really smell rose. I do smell a little bit of jasmine and maybe something else that could be plant-based. Maybe it's the balsam. And maybe the balsam a little bit on the dry down. But I don't really smell a strong rose. I do smell plum. I do smell the tonka bean, the vanilla, and I also smell the cloves. I feel like the cloves are very much linked in with the cinnamon. It's like a strong spicy cinnamon and clove note. Oh my God, you guys, I love this one. Oh my God. It's just drying down to like a sweet cinnamon. This is good. This is good. This was, okay. I'm gonna rate this one. Ooh. This one gets a 10 out of 10 for me as well. I feel like I feel like I would wear this emery cherry just as much as I would wear floral marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this one. I I've never even tried Tom Ford's fragrances. I can't believe I didn't know that they made things like this because this smells freaking amazing. You guys, I have to start getting into luxury fragrances. I love, don't get me wrong, I, I'm a cheap girly and I love being a Barbie on a budget and like just choosing things that smell good no matter how cheap they are. But this is on a whole other level. Like the potency, the notes, the way they intertwine with each other, this is a whole different level. I definitely have to get into, I have to get into, okay, that's it. I have to get into designer fragrances, you guys. Am I gonna start reviewing $150 fragrances now? Oh my God, you guys. This is perfect for Valentine's Day too, you guys. It smells like those red cinnamon heart candies and like cherries dipped in chocolate or something. Like it's so freaking sexy, it's sexy. Oh my God, I wanna smell like a giant cherry. That is just, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me on that, you guys. The potency, just everything. So far, the potency on all of these fragrances have been super, super high. We have two more, you guys. We have powdery coconut. Ooh, I love coconut. And I'm not a huge fan of powdery scents, but I do wanna get more into powder. Like, I don't hate them, but I don't love them, if that makes sense. Powder has to be done right. If you give me a powdery scent with a floral, I'm gonna feel like it smells like old lady and very mature. But if you give me like a powdery scent with fruit or a powdery scent with something sweet, I'll, I'll like it. So 
powdery scents to me, it just, it kind of just depends on what are the other notes that are mixed in with it. So we'll see. I love coconut, so I'm hoping that this will be super, super sweet. The top notes are cardamom, pistachio. I love pistachio. Bergamot, I love bergamot. The middle notes are lang lang, tuberose, and jasmine. I don't hate lang lang. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of tuberose, and you guys know jasmine is like a, ugh. Don't do too much, babe. Keep it light, keep it light. Don't go hard, cause Jasmine can ruin some stuff. She can ruin some relationships. Okay, and then the base notes are cedar wood. I like cedar wood if it's done right. Amber, benzoin. I don't know what benzoin is, and coconut. Okay, so coconut is a base note. Mm, that's kind of sad. I was really hoping to coconut would be the top note because it is called powdery coconut. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Um, hopefully that pistachio and bergamot and cardamom will pull through all of the sweet notes and then this lang lang tuberose rose and jasmine will kind of balance itself out and just you know mellow out and get out of there <laughs> okay let's see oh guys my camera battery is about to die so i'm going to take a quick break you guys can go and pause the video right now go grab you a drink or a snack or whatever and then let's come back okay dolls we are back got something to drink I literally cannot get over the Tom Ford scent like it's in here. That cinnamon and cherry, babe. Oh, okay, anyways. We were on to powdery vanilla. Oh, this is another Tom Ford, you guys. And this one is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Hey, Tom Ford got me right now. He got me, he, on, he got me on a chokehold, okay? Let's see. Oh, let me show you guys the bottle. So it's that same greenish, light green color. Maybe the colors are in correspondent to the brand that it's inspired by or the designer it's inspired by. I don't know. That's the color. I hope you guys can see that a little bit better. I tried to close the windows to stop to block the sun. Oh, oh, oh no. No, no, oh no, you guys, oh no, oh no, this is, this is scent is a no for me. This scent is a, it, okay, it might grow on me later, but right now it's a no for me. To me, it smells very strongly of Lang Lang, the tuberose, I smell a lot of floral, Lang Lang tuberose and the cardamom which is fine because I feel like cardamom is kind of like a powdery note anyway. I don't really get the pistachio note, which is sad. I'm, I'm gonna try it on my skin and see if it comes out there, but I just don't get it in the air. Um, the bergamot, I can smell the bergamot in the background. Um, benzoin, maybe that's this scent, okay. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what comes to mind as soon as I spray the scent, and that is desitin. You guys know what desitin is? I'll pop a photo up on the screen. I only know what desitin is because I had a very large family. There was 12 siblings, and growing up, I was one of the older siblings, so I had to take care of the younger ones. So I feel like, you know, I kind of already had kids. Basically, I'm saying that to say I changed a lot of diapers, and I've seen a lot of, uh, a diaper rashes and I've used a lot of desitin okay on babies so this to me smells like desitin cream the cream that you put on a baby when they have the rash that's just that's just what it's giving me I don't feel like personally I would wear this scent unless I had a specific place to I don't feel like I would wear this scent at all honestly I'm just being honest with you guys spraying it in the air I don't feel like I would wear this scent um, and maybe it's this benzoin note in here because I don't know what benzoin is. I've never actually smelt that before. Maybe that's it. I'm gonna spray it on my skin, you guys. I am very, very skeptical, but I'm gonna spray it on my skin because I just wanna see if maybe I'll get some more of the notes out on my skin a little bit. Oh no. Oh no, you guys. I do get the coconut note, but it's more of like a sharp coconut. It's not a really sweet coconut. It's like more of a sharp, um, it's like coconut water, in in my opinion. 
like an aquatic coconut, kind of like a tropical coconut, but not sweet coconut. Does that make sense? I don't know if this is making sense. It just doesn't smell sweet to me. It smells like aquatic coconut, coconut water, or yeah, coconut water. And I'm getting a musk. What is the musk? Oh, you know, the musk could be the cedar wood. What about amber? I do smell a little bit of amber. She's mixed in there very nicely. I do smell her. I don't smell pistachio though. I smell amber. I smell bergamot. Very nice. I just don't smell pistachio. I don't get pistachio. I smell like powder, coconut, bergamot type of musky note. It's musky to me for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know about this one, you guys. I think I'm gonna rate this probably this is probably gonna get for me a three out of 10. It's just because I would probably never wear this fragrance. It's not a bad fragrance, which is why I'm not rating it a zero because I do feel like I could smell this on somebody else, maybe even a guy. I feel like I would really like this on a guy, uh, just not on me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for me, it does get a three for me personally, but I would probably rate this a seven if it was on a man. Yeah, it's kind of sexy for a guy. But yeah, that's that one. Okay guys, last but not least is Fruity Brown Sugar. That sounds good. That sounds like it's gonna be fruit and it's also gonna be sweet, so I'm excited. Okay, so the top notes are bergamot, raspberry, and pear. Ah, I love those notes. And the middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar. And the base notes are patchouli, amber, and vanilla. I am happy about all of these fragrance notes right now in the combination. The only ones I'm a little bit skeptical about is the jasmine, and y'all already know why. Orange Blossom has kind of grown on me over the years. I feel like it does have like a soft switch citrusy note to the floral, so I can kind of move past the fact that it's like floral. But Jasmine, girl, she gets me every time. Okay, so it is inspired by YSL's Mon Petit. Oh, I'm excited. It's taking me to Paris. I literally picked this up because Fruity brown sugar sounds like something I would like. And also when I read the name of the fragrance it was inspired by, I was like, ooh, take me to Paris on some fruity brown sugar. You know what I'm saying? Take me to Paris. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's the packaging. Oh, so that was a little bit different. Um, it is orange. I was expecting the liquid to be orange. So I thought they were just matching the colors, the liquid with the, the name, but I guess not. I smell orange. Well, it must be the orange blossom. Okay. <laughs> I smell the raspberry. I smell the pear. I smell the orange. Like, definitely fruit. It's something very figgy about it, too. It smells very like there's fig in here, but I don't see the notes of fig. I smell the patchouli. I smell the vanilla and the ember. I definitely smell orange blossom. I smelled a really large burst of orange initially when I sprayed it, which I think is why I'm sneezing because there's a super strong floral note there. Um, even though it's like an orange floral, it's still a floral note. And so kind of messing with my allergies a little bit here. This is really, really potent. And I do smell the brown sugar. You guys, I also smell like honey. Like where's the honey coming from? Why do I smell honey? There's no honey notes on here. I smell jasmine. I kind of wish jasmine wasn't in here. I feel like the orange blossom, just the orange blossom would have been perfect. I feel like adding the jasmine just gave a different type of floral vibe to it that it really wasn't needed. But I'm not the designer, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I know what I'm talking about for me, but just not for everyone. Yeah, I feel like this is not gonna be for everyone, but this is a really pretty scent. I actually really like this. And why am I sitting here just smelling and dreaming of being in Paris by the Eiffel Tower eating a baguette? Like what's wrong with me, y'all? This is giving me an experience right now for sure. I'm not gonna lie. The only thing for me is that floral, that strong jasmine floral note. Um, I am a little worried about my allergies with that because it is so strong in that floral. And I think that that's the difference. The other ones had soft florals. This is a sharp floral. But I also feel like it's not super, it's not a floral scent. It just has a sharp floral note in there that you smell very strongly. Definitely like the bergamot, the raspberry, the pear. Let's go ahead and spray it on our skin. Let's, let's see. 
I don't know you guys, I'm getting honey and plum and I don't even see honey or plum on here. So I don't, I don't know about that. I do smell raspberry, the pear is there, the bergamot, patchouli, amber, yeah. That jasmine can just take a hike. It, need, it really needed to go. But you guys, I do really like this fragrance. I would say I would probably rate this fragrance. It does give you an experience though. It definitely is giving me Paris. I like it. It's weird because I, I, that floral note is so sharp. I wish it wasn't there and it would be like a 10 out of 10 for me. But because that floral note is there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probably give this a 7.5. I think the sharpness of the floral note just kind of killed it for me. But it is a very nice scent. I do like it a lot. Okay, y'all. So that was all of the scents Dossier sent me. I am so, so grateful I got to do this video. I'm so happy to them and grateful that they would just send me six perfumes, like, for free. Like, thank you. I'm gonna go from least favorite to top favorite. Okay, dolls. For seventh place, I'm going to give that to Powdery Coconut. This one gets seventh place for me. It's just not a scent I would ever wear. Yeah, I can't, I can't get past the desitin vibes. I can't. Okay, dolls, so number six is going to be Embry Vanilla. You guys already know I've tried this for quite some time, as you can see. I've only gotten a little bit of wear out of it. It's just personally not my favorite. I don't feel like this is one that I would pick up consistently. But to me, it's just a little bit more mature than I would like. So at number five, I'm gonna give that to a fruity, a brown a sugar. I really do like this scent. I think it's so nice, it's so rich. The only thing that put it to number five instead of making it number four was that that jasmine was just so sharp for me. But this is a really pretty scent. I really do love this scent and I would suggest it to my gourmand girlies who's trying to get into something new. So at number four is a Fruity Almonds. Absolutely love this fragrance. I think it just smells so good. You guys already got the review off of it. So yeah, this is number four for me. Fruity Orange takes number three. I love this. I think it smells so fresh. There is a lot of floral in it but it still is a very good scent that I feel like I would get a lot of wear out of and it's so different. Y'all, this is the hardest part. We are down to two. We are down to Ambery Cherry and Floral Marshmallow. Now you guys know, I already raved about Floral Marshmallow, y'all. I already know. Y'all already know what I think about Floral Marshmallow. Which one of these fragrances takes first place? Ambery Cherry, or floral marshmallow. Okay, I think I've made my decision. Um, are you guys ready? The fragrance that is in first place is Ambery Cherry. You guys, this is bomb.com, okay? It smells so freaking good. That cherry and cinnamon, like how come nobody's ever thought to combine those notes? Babe, this is giving me everything for Valentine's Day, for all year round. If you are a gourmand girly, you are gonna love this. Please check this out, y'all, please. It's so freaking good. And with that being said, Floral Marshall now takes second place. This is just forever a favorite. If I could put these two both in first place, I would, because I feel like I would get equal use out of both of them. But I just feel like I just, Ambery Cherry for me, it's just the hit is just, it slaps. It just slaps you guys and I have to have it like, I'm gonna go in and try some more of Tom Ford's fragrances. But dolls, that is it. That was my dossier unboxing video and review. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see all the fragrances. Do comment below and let me know if you have any questions or any fragrance suggestions that you would like me to try out. I love you dolls. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a very good weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye dolls! <laughs>